Howdy folks and welcome back to my workshop. I've just released PicoGus Firmware 0.3.0 and it brings a lot of new stuff. Games like Doom are now starting to work pretty well, and also MPU 401 Intelligent Mode is there. Plus you can also update your firmware and switch emulation modes right from DOS. So let's get right into it and see what's new. Let's start off with what we can do now inside DOS from PicoGus and Net.exe. Let's say we're listening to a mod in Cubic Player and we're in Gus Emulation Mode. But what if we want to switch and do AdLib? What we can do is we can quit. We can run pgus in it.exe. Right now it says it's in, in Gus Emulation format. What we can do is we can load the AdLib firmware right on the fly. pgus in it.exe f pg adlib.uf2. Programs it, reboots the card, and let's run uh, Prince of Persia. Volume. Yeah, how about that? Other cool stuff you can do. Go back into uh, Gus mode. Uh, let's change the ultrasound <laughs> port. Uh, right now it's at the port 240. Uh, we can say port 220 instead. Now it's on port 220. And if we want to run a mod, it plays just fine. Another thing that took a lot of effort, isn't quite there yet, is streaming DMA support for games, especially like Doom. Uh, there is a bit of an issue with Doom in that you have to manually set the DMA interval with PSNet. Um, right now, uh, 12 milliseconds is probably no, microseconds is the best way to run it. And one thing that you notice is when it starts, it takes a very long time to load the samples when it says it's calling DMX in it. When this is happening, the samples are being uploaded to the card, but believe me, it actually is working. It's just loading the samples and taking a long time because the DME interval is set to an artificially long time. But once it's finally loaded, it actually runs very, very well. Okay, and yeah, we're getting there. Come on, there we go. Listen to the music. Come on, 30 seconds. Yeah! So yeah, that's Doom. How about that? Alright, one more thing. MPU 401 Intelligent Mode. Let's go ahead and set the Pico Gus into MPU, on, MPU 401 Mode. Programming, and it's reset. All right, let's go and do Sylphid. This is a game that uses MPU 401 intelligent mode, but it does not use IRQs. And it's cracked, so let's just hit enter. And this is a interesting intro. It uh, kind of shocks you, be careful. And it runs way too fast on this machine. But uh, thanks to MPU 401 Intelligent Mode, the tempo of the song is just fine, <laughs> despite the intro running way too fast. So uh, yeah, that's a sign that MPU 401 Intelligent Mode's working just fine.
like this song. So another game, Gateway, uh, by Legend Entertainment. This is a v pretty much a torture test for Intelligent Mode. Um, uses IRQs and um, uses a lot of the tempo uh, parts of Intelligent Mode, and it works mostly. Um, as you can hear, songs playing just fine. Loads the next part, it loads the next song. Let's say no, so it'll just start over and be at the very beginning and plays the song. But if we sit around for a few minutes and let the song finish, it may or may not actually make it to where it needs to go. But what we can do, okay, it changes the song here, which is good. Song fades out. New song? Yes. Okay, but if we let this play all the way through, it won't start the next song. And I'm not quite sure why that's not happening. So I think I might need to do some MIDI captures or bus captures or something. I have a real MPU 401 card so I can really see what's happening behind the scenes. And I can hopefully see what the problem is. But this is super great. Uh, one thing that's really interesting with this emulation code is taken from hard MPU, which is forked from soft MPU, which was forked from the DOSBox MPU 401 support. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of it has been lost in translation. I had to go back to DOSBox for a lot of how this actually works because hard MPU has a lot of um, kind of um, assumptions that it's running on an EVR microcontroller. This is on a Raspberry Pi Pico, as you probably know. So I went ahead and just went back to DOSBox for almost all of it. So yeah, that is uh, pretty much, yeah, what uh, what's going on with PicoGus 0.3.0. Uh, go to my GitHub and uh, yeah, you can check it out. All right, have a great one.